Right, let's talk to Glenn Moody now. Should we get some more comment on it? Um, he's a technology writer from London. Hi there, Glenn. Uh, you're live on RT International. There you are. Hi, my name's Kevin Owen. Thanks for taking the time to be with us. I hope you can hear me, sir. Um, your initial thoughts, I guess you were listening yep. across to what uh, Obama had to say for the last hour or so there in Washington. Uh, damage limitation, uh, could more have been done? Oh, much more. I was struck how completely vague and full of loopholes it was. I agree with the last speaker that everything has been punted into the long grass. He said, I'm going to set up a, a committee to do this. I've asked this department to look at this. Everything's in the future. We just don't know what he's really promised. And so uh, I was very disappointed. There was practically nothing concrete in there. For example, as far as the metadata collection is concerned, he announced grandly, well, we're going to stop doing this, but I haven't actually decided how we're going to stop doing this. So obviously the details matter there. Similarly, mm. in terms of the spying on the rest of the world, it's very important to note that foreigners have far fewer rights than the US citizens. On that, he basically said, well, we'll, we'll do it in a sort of fair way and don't worry about it. I mean, there were just no real guarantees mm. there. I mean, he talked about more transparency, more clarity, but a lot of these operations are clandestine anyway. So how do those two things go together? Well, I mean, transparency, <coughs> yes, but how deep is that transparency? Yeah. I mean, all <coughs> politicians claim to be transparent, but it's, it's the reality that you've got to see. And so far, uh, we've seen really no transparency. And, and unfortunately, uh, President Obama has shown himself a real enemy of transparency. He's actually prosecuted and hunted down whistleblowers more than any other president. I mean, Edward Snowden isn't the, the first. He's just the last in a long series. So mm. he hasn't got a very good record on transparency, I have to say. But of course, this all really came to light because of Edward Snowden. It makes you wonder it would have gone on for years otherwise, maybe if it wasn't for him. What about foreign leaders? I mean, the real big embarrassment here, Absolutely. wasn't it, was, was the spying on Germany, the spying on leaders around the world. Um, should they, I've, I, I talked about it with the last guest just now, can they sleep easier at night? Do they think there's, uh, uh, the bridges are being uh, made, well, uh, built here and made again or not? Well, I think they can sleep easier at night, but not for the right reasons. Basically, President Obama has said, I recognized I got caught and I won't do it again. But uh, I think what we do know is that little people, you know, you and me, are still on their list. The leaders may get off it, but we're still there. And the, the guarantees that he's given are basically worthless. I mean, it's, everything is, is uh, subject to national security needs. So if they need it, they'll come in and take it. And, and that's the really worrying thing. Glenn, thanks for your time. Glenn Moody, technology writer there. Thanks for being live on RT. Appreciate it.